Yo, what's up everybody, here I am with another video and this time we're gonna talk about the spin jumper and I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do the spin jumper and also what you exactly need to know about the spin jumper in general. On 2K23 I'm using Penny Hardaway for the spin jump shot just because I like the way it looks and the space it creates but yeah that's preference you can go into this animation store and check all the spin jump shots that they have and maybe you like another one maybe you want to use the one that I'm using so there are multiple ways to trigger this one but I will show you the one that is the most comfortable for me just so you know usually I'm doing my moving shots with the right stick but this is the only moving jump shot that I do use with the X button on the Xbox and if you're on PlayStation it's obviously the square button so first of all how do you trigger it well you have to double tap the square button aka the X button depending on what console you're on so I'm gonna show you exactly how I trigger it I go to a certain spot that I like and please not too close to the paint by the way because it will trigger a spin move towards the basket so positioning matters it doesn't matter if you want to take a three or a two obviously when you have a three having certain badges equipped will help like agent three uh, you can uh, help yourself with the spin jump shot from the mid range with the midi magician badge I believe so there are badges that will help you to complete this move as well but like I said movement first of all matters you don't want to get too close to the paint and you don't want to be too tired when you trigger this jump shot because it gets e extremely hard to complete but you can fake out your defender extremely well with that move so you go to a certain spot trigger the move with double tapping quickly don't hold the R2 button or the speed boost button let go of it right before you just trigger it it's much easier that way you don't want to hold it let it go tap the button twice and then once he completes the move and steps back into the jumper you want to hold the button as if you take a normal jump shot again and i play with a bar if you don't play with a bar just follow your hands and you must know your jump shot go to a practice facility go to a place where you can train this jump shot if you it doesn't even matter if you play with a meter or not just go train this shot 15 20 minutes you will see you will master it very easily and it will help you in games it's a very fun move that just doesn't get utilized because a people don't know how to use it b they don't even know when to trigger it go into the move ba bam tap it twice and then once he completes the step back this jump shot will basically start and that's when you hold it you hold it just simply like if you would take a regular jump shot and release it and in in order to basically memorize the jump shot every single time it's practice guys don't just learn the move and then go and trigger and say oh my god this jump shot doesn't fall practice it like I do usually in Gatorade but obviously you can go to different places as well just to practice this move you can easily trigger it for three balls too I recommend then the agent three badge but in general it's a move that helps you with twos and threes I believe it's a very underappreciated move that is very useful I usually don't use it in rec because in 5v5 the place is a lot cr more crowded but if you play twos and threes it is a very good move to use I can only say I put that just recently into my arsenal this year and I really love that move I can tell you it's a lot of fun it doesn't even matter if you play my career online it's a fun move to use so yeah that's the way how you trigger and execute the spin jump shot if you're new to the channel subscribe like and comment and if you want me to explain other jump shots or other moves as well especially when it comes to jump shots Tell me in the comments. I'll see you all on the next one. Bye-bye.